Galavant is back, man. Finally, uh, last night, returned for season two. Honestly, I remember when they revealed the poster a few weeks ago, man, maybe a few months ago. But I haven't seen no promos, honestly. I, I haven't been watching TV lately, prior, like, December 25th and all that area. Christmas time, I haven't been watching TV, so unless there's a bunch of Galavant promos, I have not seen one bit of marketing for Galavant. I don't see no magazines of Galavant. I don't see no back... A magazine gavel, man. I just don't see any of it, man. So, uh, just saying about that. But let me tell you, man. Last night's premiere was so good. Uh, it, w it wasn't great. It wasn't a great premiere, but it was a good premiere, man. I will say, I really. Uh, it has a stupid sense of gallivant that it did. It's even more stupider, but it's more better in that sort of sense where it's so ballsy. This show, it's not afraid. Like gallivant, not the character, but the show itself. It's not on a leash. It's not on the leash. It is wild. It is unchained. It is. It, it has every sort of thing you can want uh, out of a musical, man, out of a comedy musical. Uh, so, it, it, it's so fun, man. So, here we go. This is a spoiler review. Make sure you have seen Galavan Season 2, the premiere. Season 2, Episode 1 and 2. Now, the titles for Season uh, or Episode 1, A New Season, a.k.a. Sucky Cancellation Bear. It's a long-ass title. And Episode 2, World's Best Kiss. Let's get started about talking about episode one, then I'll go to episode two, and then I'll combine them together and give you the pros and cons. First off, man, we'll talk about episode one, a new season, a.k.a. Suck It Cancellation Bear. First off, the crew sings of the new season, you know, Galavan and King Richard are on a boat, and basically, you know, the, the like, he wants to sing the Galavan theme song, he's like, oh, please, one more time, sing it for me. And then the crew pirates are like, hey, nobody, they walk off the bright air. And then they end up dancing and everything about this new season on Galavan and all that. And then you have um, Gareth and uh, Madalena, all of them singing. So anyway, they see land and they're preparing a wedding. Well, excuse me, Isabella and that thing where she has to get married to her cousin who's like 11 years old. They're preparing the wedding and everything. Uh, not like that day, but I mean, they're like doing plans and all that and dress size, all that. So the Enchanted Forest. Oh, no. The Enchanted Forest. My father told me never to go here. My Uncle Keith got lost. And then he's like, The Enchanted Forest. It's a pub. You had me worried there for a moment, Richard. I was like, oh my god, it's a fucking pub. It's not a forest, it's a pub. It's so stupid. Anyway, uh, it's a gay bar, of course. And, and you, know, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat, bruh. Whatever goes on, man. And I love how there's a guy named Bear, of course, you know, the bear and all that. But he's like, all like that. It's so funny because Richard doesn't know it's a gay bar, but Galavan can tell. He's kind of like looking around and everything. And Richard's like, oh. Oh, good, this is a nice place. I really like you big boy. <laughs> I just love the way he plays it off. He's amazing. Uh, Timothy, uh, the, the man who plays Richard. Anyway, Galavant is to stay there forever because there's a big musical and everything. Off with his shirt and everything. And they're doing, oh my god. And the, like the queen is singing or something. You know, she's all dressed in blue and all that. So that was a cool little number there. Uh, kind of out of nowhere where I was like, oh. Forgot it's a musical again. There's gonna be singing, so I was kind of like, ugh. But then again, it just moved on, and it was it was really fun. Anyway, the chef is to help Isabella. You know, the chef with the weird nose who ended up being in like a, the bastard executioner, uh, ended up really getting canceled and everything. So anyway, uh, <laughs> he's talking to his girlfriend or wife, whatever, with Isabella, and he's like. Oh, we love each other so much. Oh, my God. Like, oh, he, he's going to keep our daughter. If I have a daughter, we're going to keep our daughter. Yes, and the others. Feed them to the White Walkers. It's like Game of Thrones reference all of a sudden. I'm like, what the fuck? There's White Walkers in here, too? Okay. Connected Game of Thrones confirmed. Crossover coming soon. Galavan's head on a pipe or a stick. Or on the, on the ground. That would be sucky, wouldn't it? Our hero's journey ends. Richard finds Uncle Keith, and of course he helps him and Galavant escape. Uncle Keith's gay. 
the escape is in the ladies' room because there is no ladies. I thought that was like again that could be offensive. To, not really. I'm not offensive like, because I'm not I'm not gay. But I'm saying like for people who I can see there are many things in there that could offend people, but that's what makes this show so awesome. Is that it, 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 I'm not saying offending me. Oh yeah, don't try to. But it it, it makes fun of it. Yet it's not trying to be like, ha yeah, ladies' room in the game. And it's not like trying to be anything. It's really uh, because they didn't make the ladies' room and everything. And that's the way out and all that. It was pretty funny. Uh, I, you don't think my Uncle Keith was? Yes, he is. Uncle Keith was gay. Uh, so, at the end, they're just talking about a whole new season and everything. Just new season... All that. So that was episode one out of episode two. Richard is bored of walking. I love how he's just like, you can see a faraway pan. He's walking. I'm so bored. <laughs> he just falls down. Hey, can he get cancer from walking? Because my feet are really hurting. Dude. Ooh, yes. Anyway, uh, the world's best kiss song comes on. Isabella and uh, um, Galavant is singing. <laughs> Isabella. Before the world's best kiss song, Isabella's like, I have an a amulet, a red amulet. Chef, would you want it? Oh, oh, my lady, I've never seen you wear that. I wear it every day. Are you sure? Because I've never seen you wear that. <laughs> anyway, yes, I wear it all the time. I'm pretty sure I've never seen you wear it. Anyway, after that, <laughs> the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's the part where Isabella wakes up because she did the world's best kiss song and she's like, Chef, have you been waiting there all night? You never, <laughs> the chef, he's like, you never, <laughs> I can't, man, I can't. Okay, <sighs> anyway, he's, uh, he's like, you never gave me the, mm, ooh, I can't get it, guys, okay. So the chef is like, you never gave me the fucking amulet. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my cool man. I was like, oh, I had to replay it on my DVR. You never give me back the fuck. You never give me the fucking amulet. <laughs> amulet, whatever you want to call it, man. Anyway, Gareth is now king. That is his title. So Isabella is with the Joker or the Jester, whatever you want to say. I've been playing hide and seek for a few weeks. Please don't make me get caught. All right. So they're trying to escape, and Richard and a unicorn. Of course, if the unicorn follows you, that means you've never laid with a woman before. Oh, King Richard, uh, what a bad feeling that must be. Honestly, unicorns will be following everyone that's watching this everywhere. If you're watching my videos, unicorns going to follow you. Just kidding. I love all you who are watching. Uh, anyway, so Edwin, we meet Edwin, who is this, like, wizard guy. I don't know. He's calling, uh, his wife is calling on the thing, so they're, like, looking like, holy shit, like, what, what is this m magic going on, the sorcery, right, going in front of my eyes? <laughs> Pretty amazing. So anyway, he calls the amulet, and, uh, well, Richard hears the news about Gareth, how he's the king now, and, uh, will agree to disagree. Uh, Sid is thrown out. Sid is thrown out, like, in the water. A uh, gallivant reaches Isabella, and he sounds bad. Like, he makes it sound so bad, he reaches, uh, like... She is talking to him on the amulet. It's like a phone thing, I guess. Anyway, uh, she's bad. You're a fat cow. Get the fat cow. Leave. Get out of here. But he's talking to the actual cow and everything. Like, it's just... It, it's so, like, well done that it's like that. Anyway, uh, Richard's castle is gone at the end. But Richard, before... Like, the castle moved and, like, walked away. Like, type... It's, like, gone. It's not there anymore. But he did grab a sword. And it said, whoever picks up their sword is the one true king. I was thinking, like, Manu Bennett would fucking grab it or something. You know, like, oh, uh, finally, it's Martin. You know, Manu Bennett being in here would be pretty freaking sexy, would it not? But anyway, Galavan, that is episode two. What did I think about the season premiere overall, guys? First off, let me give you the pros. I'm not really prepared. I only got, like, four pros and, like, two cons, and I'm not really prepared, so I'm just going to wing this. I'm going to... I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Here we go. First off, I will say the music and the songs in here were pretty freaking good, man. Uh, World's Best Kiss, really great. So the only song that really got on my nerves where I was like, but then I started liking it was Off With His Shirt, because I'm always thinking, Off With His Head! I'm always thinking that, but what she should have been doing was Off With His Shirt, sing a little 
and then to the chorus, off with his jeans, boom, 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 off with his underwear, and Galavan's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, that would have been more fun, Richard would have been like, oh my. They shouldn't have done something like that, that would have been a little bit more ballsy, a little bit more risky, literally ballsy. So I don't know why they didn't end going that route, but it would have been more fun. Off with his off with his shirt, like his shirt's already off. What do you want? I just, like, like, oh, look at that. I, Richard's like, oh, I wish someone could do that to me. <laughs> I have to rewatch episode one. Episode one was way better, man. I mean, episode two was the best, also because you never give me the fucking amulet. <laughs> was he waiting there all night, <laughs> waiting to get that? You never give me the fucking. I'm gonna give you the amulet, the world's best kiss, and then just it, oh my god. Anyway, the ladies' room, that whole joke there was just so awesome. The whole bar scene, oh, Bear's a little mad that we're leaving. And then they like, no, where are you going? You're going to stay here. We just made a lot of money. You're going to stay here for the rest of your life. When Bear's happy. Oh, God. Anyway, that whole sequence there. The rising, or the risky things, like I said, they're not afraid to do stuff. I mean, there is some things in here that could offend people. You know, good morning, America. What are we offended by today? Stop being a little bitches. Get yourself ready. Purple to the core. Scott Wyland, in the chat. I love you. Anyway, but seriously, don't uh, don't be a bitch. It's just a show. I hate to. Uh, I don't like to curse so much, but please don't be. If you're offended by the show. And my friend, 95% of shows that are on today will offend you, so please, don't uh, don't enter the TV business then, because there are some things, but uh, I will say, it's just, it's so fun, it's so fun on here, this show, I think, I love how Gallivant grew a, a more beard, like a little bit more, added a little more there, and uh, Richard's, ki uh, Richard's hair grew out just a little longer, a lot longer, actually, I just love how it, it, it just changed, you could tell the time from season one to season two, Characters changed, man. They really have. I love the the whole Vinnie Jones and uh, um, the whole dog art picture and everything. And then uh, Madalena throws it out and everything. You know, she the whole I agree to disagree. That whole fight there was really fun as well. Uh, Sid, I felt like they were trying to push Sid down our throats a little bit too much. I really do feel like they were just. Hey, here, have some Sid for you there. Yeah, I want some Sid. It's like, calm down. I love Sid. You know, he's a funny character. I remember meeting him in the first season, but you don't have to be like, hey, yeah, put some Sid up in that bitch there, mate. Right? No, 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 no. Calm yourself. Calm your titties over there. Uh, but seriously, that. Uh, King Richards is always my favorite. Of course, Timothy Omeldus, uh, Om Omeldus that guy. He's really cool. Uh, like I said, the, the whole, like, I will say that the opening really didn't get me. I'm, I didn't really like the opening. Yeah, sure. Like, but when they first started singing, like, the pirates, ba -da 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 -da, not like Galavant when they were like, this season, that was cool. But when, the, like, the pirates were like, bum, bum, I was kind of like, really? Really, pirates are dancing? You're really going to, that's the way you're going to open up the season is them dancing? And we walk the plank, mate. And then they start dancing all from serious to like, hey, then this season. And it was kind of like, oh, I forgot how Galvan is. And then I just loved how it just continued to process and it kept on rising and rising. Episode two, it, it kept on rising and ri but then it, it, it fizzled down a little. Fizzled, it did it fizzled down a little, just a little. But uh, I will say, episode one out of season two probably was. Ooh, that's a hard one. I think episode do, two, do, episode two did have a few good co uh, co comedy sketches and a few a really good songs. World's Best Kiss and the Unicorn Following Richard and everything. Oh, my God. Uh, so, I don't know, really. Episode one, episode two uh, probably was the most funniest, Scott. Uh, but I do love episode one feeling with the whole bar and everything. That was really the big, the big scene there. The only cons, like I said, the opening thing there in the first two, three minutes kind of eh. But she thinks he doesn't care. Uh, I, I don't really like that route because now Isabella's going to be like, now I'm going to get married. I, my Calavan doesn't love me. And it's kind of like, great, now we've got to worry about that. I'm going to see that. Like, uh, who cares? Just like, come on, Galavan. Love her, man. Come on. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, two, two episodes a week. Is that how it's going to be? Ooh, God. Oh, dear. Uh, also, the green screen John Stamos cameo 
That was so not needed, his cameo. It was like, is that, like, what, John Hamm or Gene Hamm? I think his name's John Hamm in the show. Like, John Hamm as in K.A. Batman, I think it's, like, around there. And it was like, oh, there. And it was, like, you tell it was so green screen. It was so freaking, like, they was, he wasn't on location. It was so bad. I was like, oh, no, it's a war. You did not need to add that cameo. Uh, I would like to see John, John, Josh, John Stamos throughout the season, like an episode, but that cameo was not needed. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I will give Galavant season two premiere a B plus. Uh, I think I'd give it an 8 out of a 10, guys. It, it really was a good premiere. It wasn't a great premiere. Like I said, it had some good numbers. It had some, it had a few props. had a few little things there. You know, the whole agree to disagree was fun. But then again, you know, we're not really. It wasn't, it was really good. But then Sid, you know, got thrown out and everything sort of thing where it's like they agree on that one thing. Where that's like, it, it just kind of, eh, eh, had me feel a little, eh, in me. But other than that, it really was a good premiere, man. Like I said, you heard the pros, you heard the cons. Now it's your turn to tell me your pros and cons. Thanks again. I'll be seeing you every Sunday or Monday for Galavant. If you want to support the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate that, and I'd see you next week for more Galavant. Always on King Richard's side. we got to make him find his castle. He's the one true king. See you guys later. Reviews coming every week, guys. Revenant and the Forest coming soon. Movie reviews, TV show reviews. Check it out, baby. Check it out.